We move now to the wildfires here in Oregon. The largest, the bootleg fire, has burned about 300,000 acres in southern Oregon. New level two evacuations were just ordered this afternoon. Every day the firefight is a little different as crews adapt to challenging weather. Galen Etlin has our update tonight, looking at how people living there are joining firefighters. From the sky, small planes drop fire retardant on areas that have not burned yet to help protect nearby structures. Not far away, the bootleg fire's growth continues. It sounds like it's one of those things where you just have to keep plotting away. It, it really is. The fire is doing what it wants to do. Herta Zoutendijk is with the Portland area crews working the fire, which spans Klamath and Lake Counties. The Weather Service says those areas are in exceptional drought, the most serious level. Still quite dry. We're in the middle of summer and we've got a long way to go. Trees that have burned now pose a new risk to firefighters in the field. This professional logger is cutting down large, damaged trees that can fall randomly on firefighters doing their job. The potentially deadly impact gives these trees the grim nickname, widow makers. Despite difficult conditions, crews have established some important perimeters to protect people living nearby. Other containment efforts are a work in progress. Continue to prep indirect lines in case we need them uh, to protect Summer Lake. And it's just heartbreaking having lived here for 20 years. Michael Mistagny is a cattle rancher with about 50,000 acres of land and hundreds of cows. Landowners like him have been working with firefighters to navigate terrain. It's just so rugged up this canyon and up the creek that you can't get anywhere unless it's on foot. Firefighters are constantly on the move through this difficult fire, so that community effort's got to make a big difference. They give us the intel of where and what uh, we might expect. And with lives and animals at risk, ranchers know that help can go a long way. You don't want it to spread through you and get on the neighbor, so their impulse is to jump in. It, it has to be a partnership. You know, We have to be in this together, and we all really do have the same common goals and try to save and protect as much property and, and lives as we can. Galen Etlin, KGW News. Now let's get you updated on some of the other fires still burning here in Oregon. The Grandview Fire, northeast of Sisters in central Oregon, has burned just over 6,000 acres. It's now 43% contained. Nearly 400 homes and structures are threatened by this fire. Crews have got the Darlene fire burning south of Lapine, 61% contained now. That's burned 680 acres. Evacuation notices for this one have been reduced to either level two or one, so people can return home, but they have to be ready to leave again in case conditions change. Then there's the Bruler fire. This is burning south of Detroit. It's grown much slower, covering just 156 acres at this point. And crews are working to keep it at that size and have it 10% contained. A portion of the Willamette National Forest remains closed in that area. And you may still see smoke coming from the fire that started Wednesday near Highway 99E south of Oregon City. Firefighters say some of the burnt area is still smoldering, but they do have crews on site monitoring things and they're not completely dousing all hot spots with water because they're trying to make sure the hillside stays stable. For information on other fires around our region, you can simply text the word wildfires to the number there on your screen, 503-226-5088, and you'll get a direct link to the latest on KGW.com.